today we're gonna be opening the brand new tactical masters booster box <gasps> hot, hot okay all right okay i it, it fell tactical masters let's go right, what are you waiting for if you haven't gotten your water dojo sleeves and your fire dojo sleeves make sure you guys get it today in the link down below at tx1.com help support the channel a lot to so you guys who are watching the channel thank you so much these are the best sleeves your main deck and especially your extra deck if you want to flex on all your opponents so if you guys want to help support me and the channel make sure you guys visit tx1.com right now to get your supreme bro sleeves today in the link down below all right guys without further ado Let's hop straight into today's video. What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Sam Ranks. When you're happy, Wednesday, it's Wednesday. Today, I got you guys the brand new Tactical Masters booster box opening for you guys today. There's a brand new archetype called Mr. Rune, or I I, I forgot what they changed the name to, uh, but there's a new archetype that's in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, this archetype was supposed to be released before Power of the Elements. I felt like this deck would have been so good before Power of the Elements. Nonetheless, it said it's absolutely heat, absolutely fire. Uh, today, I got you guys two booster boxes open for you guys today and by the time you guys are watching this video i'm probably in brazil right now so um if you're in brazil uh feliz navidad you know what i'm saying that's not brazilian isn't it um no anyways yes for those of you who are in brazil and going to ycs brazil i'm gonna be there so you know can't wait for that also i'm gonna be giving away a third additional booster box one booster box one lucky winner who is subscribed to the channel you know what i'm saying hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already too all you guys gotta do is turn on the bell turn you see the bell Turn that thing on, baby. You know what I'm talking about. Three, like and leave a comment in the comments below on what card you're looking forward to the most in the set. What is your favorite decks? What deck do you want to play out of this set? Or what's your favorite card in general? That's pretty much all you got to do uh, to enter into this free giveaway. And I'll announce the winner on the live stream as soon as I get back from YCS Brazil. We're doing a live stream. I have a September playmat drop coming up, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So we're doing a live stream when it comes to that. So guys, make sure you enter the giveaway free booster box absolutely insane and subscribe to the channel because we're on the road to 1 million subscribers anyways two booster boxes of tactical masters without further ado let's begin okay you know what do you guys know what i'm excited the most about new booster boxes you guys already know the answer to that come on oh <laughs> that smells amazing holy smokes first booster pack of tactical masters all right, ladies and gents, here we go. Okay, so it's like a Genesis Impact. So all cards are, uh, all cards are, what's it called? Are 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 rares. Also, oh, it's called Runic, Runic right here. The new Runic archetype, absolutely insane. Pendulum switch. Oh, Valence Buster Baron. Okay, absolutely phenomenal. So during your main phase, you this card. Do your main monster zone in the same column. Also, you cannot special in non-valence monster for the rest of this turn. Cool. So it's a valence archetype. Malice, Lady of the Man. Absolutely amazing. Lilith, Valence, Dominator Duke. Of course, Lilith, Lady of the Man. And Labyrinth, uh, Chadrangelier. Chadrangelier. All right, guys. So um, here we go. So that's the first super rare that we got. I'm pretty sure not all cards are super rares, right? Here we go. Compulsory Evacuation Device. Oh, my God. Balance Shinra Basho, Runic Slumber. All right, guys, how good is it? how good are Runics, guys? Let me know in the comments below. How good is this deck? Labyrinth Stovi Torby, Runic Allure. This card looks amazing. This is um, this is the uh, the thing card, right? What's the name? A uh, ge generator card, right? Generator and Senate Switch. Haven't seen that card in a long time. So the third card is the super rare. So it's super rare guaranteed in every single pack. I just want to know what ultra rares we can get. I know there's collectors rare in this pack right here. Uh, switch Valence World Conic Wizard. When it's going to activate, place one Valence Field Spell from your deck face up to your opponent's field zone, except for Valence World. There are two cards in your field zones. The turn player can target one effect monster in the opponent main monster zone in the same column. In the same column as one of the monsters they control, they place that opponent's monster face up as continuous spell in their spawn trap zone in the same column. That that effect was a mouthful, no cap. Mass Lady of the Man, Anti Spell Frig. This card's getting banned. Anti spell is getting banned, everybody. When Konami reprints, you know, a crazy, crazy, you know what I'm saying? When they reprint something crazy like that, you know it's getting banned. Balance, Mad Marquez. So it's like a machine pendulum archetype, right? So, guys, let me know what this deck does in the comments. Pendulum Fusion, Runic Golden Droplet. So, act one of these effects, but skip your next battle phase after the activation. Your opponent draws one card and you banish the top four cards of their deck. Special one Runic Monster from your extra deck to the extra box zone. Wow. 
Wow. Scapegoat, Fair Welcome uh, Labyrinth, Absolute King Bad Jack, and Labyrinth Archfiend. Absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys. Next booster pack. Here we go. Runic Dispelling, Fiend Griefing. Wow. Moonin, the Runic Wings. Absolutely amazing. So it's a fusion archetype, right? So this card is special summon from your extra deck. You can discard one card. Add one Runic. Can you spell from your deck from your hands? So it's a searcher. Your opponent activates a card to affect a target's runic card. You control sets a card you control. Quick effect, you can manage the card you control. Negate the activation you do destroy that card. Once return during the end phase, gain a thousand light points. Wow. Amazing. This artwork is awesome. Anti spell for against guys. Think right now, the, the, card, the card's gonna get banned very soon. I believe Anti Spell is one of the worst design cards ever made. Uh is as busted as bro uh as Mystic Mind. So good. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. Labyrinth, Labyrinth. So it's probably a searcher, right? If you activate, if you activate us, if you activate a set, welcome labyrinth, normal trap. You can activate this card. You can add this additional effect to that card's effect at resolution. Also, have that destroy one card in the field. If you activate non labyrinth normal trap cards, you can special one fiend monster from your hand or a graveyard. Pretty cool, nice. Reckless greed too. These cards smell amazing. All right, guys, interesting the runic archetype, man. The card, the the, the deck does look really really cool. And the infusion. Ruin the Smith Storm. Magical from the top of your opponent's deck up to the number of cards you control. Special one Runic Monster Reaction Deck to this extra monster zone. So it's like, I believe it's kind of. Ooh. Hugin. The Runic Wing. Absolutely amazing. So this is the Ultra the first Ultra that we got. Really cool. So this card is special from the extra deck. You can discard one card, add one Runic Field Spell from your extra hand. And that card control will be destroyed by a card effect. Um, you, can, you, you can manage this card you control instead. If a card on the field is destroyed by opponent. If this card on the field. If this card on the field is destroyed by battle or card effect, return this card to the extra deck. So on the runic cards, literally just special them themselves using the spell, right? The spell just summons them, uh, which is really cool. Nuzuki, the Valance Ninja. Ah, oh, looks like Hanzo from Overwatch. Runic Freezing Curses. Okay, so every runic spell trap special is a monster from the extra deck. And but the first effect is different. Target one effect monster point controls. He gets effect to the end of this turn to manage top three cards in your opponent's deck. So it just manipulates the top cards, uh, the, the cards in, in our opponent's deck, correct? Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, guys, next. Pendulum Switch again. Fiend Griefing. Valens Genesis Grand Duke. Wow. Looks like kind of like UAs, you know what I'm saying? But Valens. So you activate one of these effects, special summon this card to your main monster zone in its same column. Special summon this card to your main monster zone in its same column. What is Oh, in the same column above it. Move one monster in your main monster zone to the adjacent horizontal monster zone. Too complicated for me. No cap. No cap. Next booster pack. Come on, here we go. Here we go. All right, guys, quick booster. Rune Lock Destruction. Astrograph. Astrograph is that one, right? It does make sense. Astrograph, rare reprint. Okay, Electromite needs to come back. Seon, the Valance Archer. I, I, I need to ask Triff what he thinks about his deck. Oh. Oh, Shinomino. Shino. Shino Nome. The Valance Priestess. She looks kind of cute. No cap. Wow, really good. So during your main phase, you control the special summon card. You can add one Valance Power Trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in monster zone, moves to another monster zone. You can add one balanced monster from your deck to your hand. So it's a searcher. During your main phase, you can special summon this card to the main monster in the same column. Also, you cannot special summon monster. Also, you cannot special summon non valent monsters for the rest of this turn, except from the extra deck. So that's the second ultra rare uh, in this booster box. Next booster box. Uh, se second ultra in this box. Draw Lockbird rare. Amazing. Okay, maybe. Oh, Gary, the Runic Fangs. This card looks really ugly. No cap. I thought it would be cute or something, but it's not. So it cannot be destroyed by battle. Cannot be destroyed by card effects. If this card is special, then from your extra deck, you target one non quick played runic spell in your graveyard, add it to your hand. There's like a warrior returning alive for runics. Absolutely amazing. We got Drone Lockbird too. And I'm pretty sure Drone Lockbird anti spell is a collector's rare in this set, right? Uh, runic Smith Storm. Okay. Fiend Griefing. Runic Flashing Fire. Amazing. Look at these. Look at this artwork, guys. Look at this first person shooter artwork. Pew, pew, pew. Target one special monster board controls destroyed. They manage top two cards in your opponent's deck. Card's really good. Really good. Special summon one Runic Monster from your extra deck to the main monster zone. Wow. These cards, I don't know, kind of, kind of, maybe you remind me of like Magical Musketeers. I don't know. With Vader of Darkness, your opponent cannot activate quick play spell cards, so it destroys Runics and causes Cyclones. Amazing. Pay a thousand light points, so I get one spell trap from your opponent controls. Banish it. All right. Good staples in here. I I, I, I like the, 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 the anti spell, the troll. You know what I'm saying? Runic Freezing Curses, Book of Eclipse. I like um, the Cosmic Cyclone, but I feel like there's no point of making like Ultimate Rare, Cultist, like, I feel like there's no point of making Collector's Rare, Cosmic Cyclone, 
Uh, because that card is already a collector's rare, right? No, that, that, the card is already an uh, ultimate rare. I feel like they just keep printing the same ultimate rare over and over and over again. And just giving rarity bumps to cards that don't need rarity bumps. You know what I'm saying? Like, anti-spell, great rarity bump, but like, Drone Lockbird, it's already an ulti, right? Like, why? The cost cycle is already an ulti, right? Archfiend, Ghastly Glitch. So if you control a fiend monster, target one card on the field, destroy it. Then you can send one fiend monster from your deck to the grave. Ooh, BA support. Scapegoat. Okay, Pure Iron Wall and Reckless Greed. Pure Iron Wall, cards can't be banished. Pretty cool card. All right, guys, next booster pack. Here we go. Here we go. Drone Lockbird again as a rare. Runic Smith Storm. Valance Shinalo. Shinalo. <laughs> Blackjack. All right, guys. Scion, the Valance Archer. Compulsory. Bust the Baron. Book of Eclipse. Labyrinth Cuckoo Clock. Labyrinth Chatter Charger. All right, guys. A couple more packs to go. Here we go. So far, we got two Ultra Rares so far. What's the other Ultra Rare? Can we get a Collector's Rare? Labyrinth Barrage. So when you activate a set normal trap, except for Barrage, this effect becomes that normal trap's effect when that card is activated. Also, until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card resolves, your opponent takes no effect damage from your card effects. Nice. Astrograph, Trap Trick as a good reprint, Cosmic Cyclone. That's a really good thing about these, these reprints is that like one pack can give you a bunch of staples, which is really good, like Cosmics and Anti-Spell and Drone Lockbird, Labyrinth Setup, uh, Duelist Alliance, okay, Duke, Invader Darkness, and Reckless Greed. Just great overall reprint cards you can add to your staple collection, right? Uh, next booster pack. Here we go. Here we go. Three more packs to go, guys. Here we go. Bear Blocker. Okay. Valence Mad Marquis. Valence Genesis Grand Duke. Fair Welcome Labyrinth. Labyrinth Stovey Torby. Imperial Iron Wall. Cosmic Cyclone. All right, guys. Two more packs. What can we get? The Zuki, the Valence Ninja. Bean Griefing. Oh, Ultra Rare. What Ultra Rare? Scapegoat. Runic Tip. Man, oh, well that that's some that, that that's crazy. All right, guys. Last final pack. Here we go. Quick booster. Pendulum fusion. Hojo, the Valance Warrior, Valance Dominator, Farewell Labyrinth, and Set It Switch. Rick All right, guys. Next booster box. Here we go. Next booster box. We got this, guys. For the next booster box, I'm gonna go a little bit faster, you know. Except for pulling some of the cards that we haven't pulled before. But my goal is try to get collectors rare. Okay, guys. We need a collectors rare as soon as possible all right guys here we go tactical master second box balance buster baron okay buster baron okay uh konami hey konami let's have a conversation you know what i'm saying like konami what the heck is this what is this this is not a misprint this is damage you know what i'm saying elaborate setup okay next pack come on hojo hojo reckless greed come on collector's rare where are the collector's rare Please, Collector. Give me a Collector Rare. Please. Runic Flash, Flash of Fire. Anti-Spell, Imperial Order. Imperial Iron Wall. Alright, guys. Next pack. Draw a Lockbird. Ooh, Lovi Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. She's she's pretty she's pretty bad. No cap. So your opponent can activate monster effects response to cards activation. Turn normal traps. Wow. You only use the following effect of Lovely Labyrinth of the Silver Castle once per turn. Carry one normal trap in your graveyard, set it to your field, but it cannot be activated unless you control a feed monster. If another monster leaves the field by your normal trap card effect, you destroy one card to point controls. Oh, uh, in your opponent's hand at random. One collector's rare. Runic. Destruction. Where's the collector's rare? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Moon. Moonin, the runic wing. Kind of reminds me of um, Hawks from uh, My Hero Academia. Oh, it's an Ultra. Runic Fountain. Wow, it's a cover card. Uh, so you activate one Runic Quick Play Spell from your hand during your opponent's turn. Wow. Once per turn, if you activate a Runic Quick Play Spell card and turn up with three Runic Quick Play Spell in your grave, place them on the bottom of your deck and then you know to draw to see them. Wow, that card is good. Really good. So it's a draw every turn. It's a draw every single turn. This card is amazing. What the heck? It's a draw, it's a draw every turn. Here we go. All right, guys. Next pack. Runic, runic Dispelling. Balance, Kong Wizen. So I believe you get four ultra rares in every in every box, right? And then a super in every pack. And obviously the rares are just higher value than any regular set because this set is a reprint set. So you put a crazy bunch of ultra rares and you know reprints like draw in here. Oh, oh, Shinomono, Sh Shinonome, Priestess, absolutely phenomenal. All right, guys, next pack. Here we go. Balance, Mad Marquis, 
runic destruction. All right, guys, come on. Where's the collectors, man? Where's the collectors rare? Gary! Gary V! Cosmic Cyclone. Next pack. Flashing Fire. Next pack. Labyrinth Barrage. Zodiac Barrage. Another Cosmic Cyclone. Really, really good. Runic Dispelling. Labyrinth Setup. Okay, amazing. All right, guys. Two more packs to go. Where's the other Ultra? Oh, Hojo. The Valance of Warrior. The last pack of Destiny. Can we get a Collector's Rare? Valance Mad Marquis. Pendulum. <sighs> no Collector's Rare. So you guys know what that means, right? Since there's no Collector's Rare, that means the Collector's Rare is in this booster box. And when I come back from Brazil, we'll be cracking this booster box and giving away to one lucky winner on the live stream. Guys, stay tuned. That was really, really fun. Let me know your thoughts about Runix or any other archetype that you love out of this set in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. This is your boy Sam from Team Star Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace.